Hi, this is Peter Dark's Clairvoyant here, and I'm doing astrology reading now for Gemini for February 2019. So that's Gemini 2019, February. Okay, so let's see what we get here. So we'll just start off with an overview. Oh, very, very interesting. Okay, let's see what we get here. Okay. Um... Straight away, I seem to be drawn to past connections, thinking about the past. People that I may want to connect with, the people that I draw to. And it's like you're sitting there pondering because it's almost like at the moment you're not exactly happy with your life. You're not happy exactly what's going on around you. Um, so it's like you're looking for change. And and it's like you're at this crossroads where you're reevaluating everything that you're doing, where you're going. And but... It's like a bit of a, um, how do I put this? It's like a bit of a long process for you. Because gradually, it's like, if I were to take you back to the past, you used to be this woman. Outgoing, very driven, making things happen, speaking your mind. And then it's like you've come a bit within yourself and, and sort of self-protective. But all of a sudden, it's like you're coming bouncing back. So in a sense, you're going back to the past with you. Your past self is coming back. But also, you are thinking about the past as well as you do that. And there's somebody here now that I just feel so you're very sexually attracted to, very aroused, if I say that as well. And I just feel so you're drawn to them. But here you've got your victory card, here, which is saying, yes, you could really connect with this person, but it's upside down. So in other words, I just feel so, yes, you do connect, but is it really right? Is it really perfect? Um, and also, I would say for some of you as well, this is to do with relationships, this is to do with careers, this is to do with family, all, sit all sorts of situations where I feel so you you're connected and it really kind of got you excited and, and it felt great and it kind of got you going, but was it really right for you or is it really right for you? And that's what you've got to be careful of now. And so here, it's a bit of a constant battle in your head now, working things out. But it's like you want change. You want to walk away from where you are, but you're effing and ahhing. So it's telling you now to chill out, relax, unwind, gather your thoughts, and slowly start to set yourself goals so you can move forward. So it's almost like I feel like you've got think backwards. I feel so the most important things that you're wanting, you can't do yet. But I feel like there's some things that you do want, but they're not right at the top of your agenda. I feel so those are the ones you feel so you should be focusing on first. Because those ones will get you from A to B eventually. And then the other ones will just come in naturally because it's like you've made that progression in the right way. Whereas you're looking for the great goal to get there and make it happen to lift you up but it will fall flat because the base isn't right. So you've got to get the bases right, which is not on your agenda at the moment, but that's what you need to be doing. So maybe if you're wanting this fantastic relationship, then maybe you've got to get your career sorted out. If you're wanting your careers first and that's your agenda, maybe you've got to get family life sorted out and, and money a little bit sorted out and organised before you can jump ship. So it's almost like there's a base underneath it that you should be doing first, but you're not. It's like I'm going for the top of my goal, but I haven't got the base right. And I would say you're not going to like this for some of you. You're really not because I'm going to go one step further here with my timing than I've done in a long time. So, I'm giving you a timing of seven. So, this is either seven days, seven weeks, seven months, or seven years. Going back to the seven months, it could be July. Now, I feel with the seven years, don't take it so negatively, because I feel like for some of you, Geminis, you're on a bit of a journey over the next seven years. It's like, how do I put this? It's like you're building your life up. I feel like you want everything to change but not everything can change it's like everything's got to be done in sections so it's like your life's on a bit of a journey now over the next seven years so i feel like once you've got to the end of that journey you should you should have achieved all the things that you want in life within reason and you can look back and feel like you've got your life finally the way you want it but i'm not saying it's going to take seven years it's like steps up the ladder so in other words it's like over the next two to three years it's like you could achieve a lot and loop back, but there's still a hell of a lot more to do. 
and so if you think about that logically um i feel like it will make sense so i'm not saying it's like seven years before everything comes together no so don't panic the way i've said that but i feel like the next seven years are on a bit of a journey and and i just feel like on that seventh year you you'll be in such a different place it'll be amazing but you're leading up to that now it's like it's even just being at this crossroads analyzing things causing the ripple effect for you to move forward it's causing the ripple effect and that's what it's all about very very exciting right okay let's have a look at relationships Okay, so with relationships, big major changes coming. Here's the tower card coming. It's like there's arguments, disagreements, or we could be even knocking it down and rebuilding it. But I feel so whatever comes from those big changes, there's your wheel of fortune of words. It's meant to be, it's meant to happen, and it's like you've got to find what you're really looking for. But at the moment, there's certain people around you that it feels that you don't trust, and you're kind of analysing everything. But you've got your beautiful star card coming out as if to say, look, there is hope for the future. And, and I just feel so now you've got to figure out now what you want, what you're looking for and where you're going. And I also feel so some of you have been drawn to motherhood uh, or you could be thinking about children or just watch that you're not going to be expecting a child within the next three months. Uh, but I do feel sort of, um, let's have a look here. When it comes to relationships, I feel so over the next 10 days or 10 weeks, I feel so you know, things are going to start going wrong a little bit, but then it clears the way to move forward or decide where you're going. And I'm not saying in those 10 days, 10 weeks, everything's going to be sorted, but it's like, it's the cause and effect of everything coming together or leading you to that new path. So it feels like just wait and see, um, but arguments and disagreements, unfortunately. And let's have a look at careers. Again, crossroads, re-evaluating things, trying to figure out what you're going. But what's quite interesting about this is, this is not going to come quick or easy because it's about getting the balance right. And, and I feel like at the moment you're not quite unbalanced to get where you need to be, but you, you're sorted. And maybe you've got to be a bit clever to get that balance. In other words, maybe you've got to be a little bit joking, uh, a bit manipulative to sort of get what you want. Sounds horrible, doesn't it, to be manipulative? But it's like I feel like you've got to twist things a little bit to your advantage or make things work to your advantage, whichever ways and means you can. Because it's almost like now you've got to start putting yourself first. And to do that, you're going to have to twist things a little bit to your advantage. And, and I don't really like saying it like that, but I feel like at the end of the day, sometimes it, if it helps you to get where you need to be, and you've got to be a little bit ruthless to get where you need to be, sometimes you've got to do it. Nice guys always don't come first. Sometimes you've got to be... Mm, well, yeah. So I, I find it difficult to say that, but I feel like you've got to do it. And it just feels that within the next two days or two weeks, I feel like you'll start to make your mind up or these thoughts and ideas will start coming into place a little bit. Right, let's have a look at money. Right. Feels like you've got to be very firm with money, especially with somebody. And let's have a quick look at health. Um, with health, I just feel as though just eat properly, drink properly, sleep properly, keep it all balanced, and you should be generally fine there. And let's have a look at your angels. Let's see what these are going to say. Okay, so try and let your past go now and look towards the future. And daydream, it's almost like you could be daydreaming about the past a little bit, but it also feels like you need to go to bed and ask your angel to come to you in that nice, quiet, receptive place, peace of mind, and ask them to guide you and show you the way forward. And any problems that you feel so you do go through, eventually you will find a way forward to deal with them all. So yes, so I hope all that's made sense. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, so if you do want any private readings, you know where I am, whether it's being personal or over the phone or video, 
and also do share this video with your friends and family and face group groups i'd really appreciate that okay so thank you very much and you know i hope you enjoy this video and i hope you enjoy the next one which will be for your march edition so speak soon thank you